don't have to spend a lot of money on bee equipment. Um, I forgot my veil today, so I am wearing a uh, Home Depot paint strainer over a flimsy hat. And other than this one that just got in, <laughs> it's, uh, it's been doing the job. We're going to go ahead and look at this nuke down here. And uh, I've already gone through a few of them. They're building honeycomb. They're brooding up. They're taking all the syrup. We're uh, here today to uh, put more syrup in. This is the third time. And they've eaten all the pollen patty that we put in. And they're also bringing in lots of pollen. Um, it's uh, really nice to see that. Uh, so these nukes should be ready uh, not too long, a couple of weeks. I want to have more brood in there. So they're hatching out when you get these nukes. Well, let's go ahead and take a look and see if we can find the queen. So they're building honeycomb, it looks like. We put a couple of frames of uh, undrawn comb and there they are, they're building it up. Here's some more, uh, and that's full of eggs and pollen. That's fantastic. I like to see that. And I'm not going to spend a lot of time in here. These guys aren't too thrilled about me being here. But uh, yeah, I can see a lot of pollen on their legs. Look at all that cat brood. There's our queen. She's a beauty. We haven't marked her yet. Uh, but uh, I'm going to put this back together. They look good. I'll go through a few more and... Um, uh, and we'll uh, top off these feeders again. Mm -hmm. 